Hi there everyone, Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and this is your September 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. Now please do keep in mind that this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in necessarily for each and every Pisces people out there so just keep that in mind. If you do want a more personal and specific reading, that is really talking about your own situation you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com okay so let's see what's going on with you guys pisces you are starting with your page of cups as the first card of this reading the page of cups is actually a really wonderful card it brings in new energy it could be new messages new information to come it brings a lot of emotions in place however it is being crossed over by the death card which has a quite of a negative tone but it's not entirely negative it's basically um it brings some form of karmic in karmic situation spiritual um challenges that might be that might that we might be encountering during this time it could be that you are in a situation wherein your emotions is quite unstable you are reflecting and thinking quite on a very pessimistic scale especially when your your foundation card is the ten of swords so the only thing that i can you know uh, make deductions right here is that you are in a situation right now wherein you are very much overwhelmed emotionally during this time your recent past you do have the nine of cups which is you know the the wish card it can also be a situation wherein you are overwhelmed with joy overwhelmed with with emotions you know ecstatic but for some reason the foundation card is a ten of swords so i would say that there could be some form of news that is somehow being blocked to you right now which is caught which might be causing grief and a lot of disturbance into you on a mental and emotional scale i would say that this would be affecting you in a very psychological way wherein there is something that upsets upsets you but at the same time you don't know how to resolve it you don't know if you should let things be should you do something about it are you betrayed um you know there's a lot of qualities here a lot of things that is making you question However, I feel that you would, you know, you would um, take things slow. You do have the Nine of Pentacles as the top of the reading, like you want to move forward. But, you know, you're trying to be practical, even in a very emotional level, you know. Even though that you are, you know, emotionally triggered, you feel hopeless and all of that. I do sense here that you still want to be logical one way or another so it has a very contradiction kind of energy that I'm picking up here in the near future we do have the queen of pentacles as well so I'm seeing that you're you're getting this uh, you are facing the situation in a in an approach wherein you are going to be um, going to be a lot more patient and trying to understand the situation and maybe you know playing a martyr role which is what pisces are a lot of pisces pisces quality traits are like this so um you do also have the hierophant card and the two of wands i i kind of feel that there's a lot of waiting waiting scenario here or maybe this is such a situation wherein you are being told to wait and you know try not to make conclusions try not to make judgments of what is going on at this time try not to make sudden decisions if things are not going on your way because maybe you just need to be patient you know you just need to wait there are just things that you cannot force during this time is what i'm really picking up on this reading we do also have the high priestess card as your hopes and fears so I just kind of feel that there is a situation here wherein your use of intuition is quite 50-50 wherein a part of your intuition is very strong like it's telling you what is the right answer 
what is the right path to take. But at the same time, because your intuition is on its highest peak, it could also be that um, you're building a lot of fears with your own sense of intuition as well. So it's like you know the answer at the same time you are thinking of all of all the possible ways that things can go wrong, which can be quite frustrating for a lot of you Pisces out there. Your overall card of the reading is the hangman. So that alone will tell us that this could be a, a, a time of reflection. You know, there's a lot of things that you need to think about and you might need to change your perspective on quite a few things. This might not be the time to give your dependence to someone or to rely on someone completely because this is a time wherein you need to think for yourself and you know to evaluate quite a few things in your life this can be a very spiritual time as well i'm not gonna deny that there could be tendencies of discontentment feeling bored or maybe there is some form of dissatisfaction that you are feeling this is just the time for waiting i would say and if you are wanting some form of material results forward movement and you know some form of advancement in your life you might end up being disappointed your astral dies i do have here saturn in the how in the sign of taurus which is all about you know um stability um something that's actually very visual something really big and material so there could be some form of restriction and limitation when it comes to things that can give can give you physical or material pleasure i would say so there could be some form of fear and you know um some form of test could be happening when it comes to your work or when it comes to um talking to someone like discussions could be a struggle during this time it's not easy to have that you know balance when it comes to to communication it takes some form of effort to understand someone and for the other person to do the same however the end result if you do be patient with your ways um what is being promised to you will definitely fulfill its role is what i'm getting here there is going to be effort at the end of the day but do know that there is some form of fickleness that we are seeing here so i would say that this is a reading that's a little bit of unstable like this month this could be a time of waiting this is not the time wherein you should expect big results or a big surprises that can you know fulfill you in a very emotional way this is the time to to rediscover a lot about yourself and maybe rediscover things about the other person all at the same time so if you're looking for some form of fun emotional fulfillment you know something sexy or you know something that gives you um physical or personal pleasure this might not be the time this is the time for you to you know all about the re things and it and it's kind of you know surreal because mars is in the sign of aries and is also retrograde so it's giving us a pause moment and I'm not saying that that is going to happen for everyone, but especially for those that are in the sign of Pisces, the fact that it's showing up in this reading and you know what um what is happening in astrology is also taking effect, that might be a sign that you will be affected by this Mars retrograde much more strongly than others as all at the same time. And um so um yeah, um I would say that um, this is a time for you to to collect information to rediscover things even if you are even if you are being pushed to think about the past you don't have to think too much whether what you're doing is the right thing or not whether you should be taking action right here and right now or not or whether you should solve your problems right here right now it's not really the issue right at this time so you know you don't have to rush things 
in fact the more that you rush things during this time and the more that you force things you might end up in more trouble than you should so if things cannot be done don't force it is what i would recommend so um there are going to be decisions and movement and progression by the end of the month maybe or at the end of this cycle but you know for now think about things much more thoroughly you don't have to rush things and most importantly believe in yourself and have more um trust in your own intuition but not in a very pessimistic way trust in yourself and do know that you know if you feel like something is not right or if you feel like you have to do something and act in something right here and right now then if your intuition is telling that then maybe you should but however in this reading as far as i can see it's not really um recommended unless your intuition is really telling you that again your intuition is very different from you know emotional urges and urges that you have so i would say that if you are going to take action in something think about them very very much you know try not to act in a very impulsive way during this time that is the least of what you can do again you know all of the signs that i'm seeing over here is to is telling you to stop and think so this could also be a time that maybe it's time for you to rest or a time for you to prepare yourself into something i kind of feel that this is a month where in there are lessons that is going to be shared to you and you will be acknowledging them whether you're ready for it or not or whether you like it or not so um yeah this is my reading for you guys pisces i do hope that it gives you insight and clarity to your situation please do know that this is still just a general reading so you know this could be just you know a general feel overview on what you might be experiencing this month it's not going to be for everyone but maybe for those who are just i'm you know really tuning in so um yeah that's it for my reading for you guys i'll see you guys again next month for another monthly forecast reading